Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a new video and today we're going to be reviewing the new YSL New Bear Look line. This is like a makeup line that has skincare infused with it. This just recently was a release. Um, this is available online on Sephora's website and also YSL. I did order mine from the actual um, YSL Beauty website because you do get 15% off so that was just where I went to order it because I wanted some percent. Yeah, new Bear Look line, they came out with the skin tint. It's like four or five different primers and they also came out with a setting spray. The products that I did pick up is the new Bear Look skin tint. This retails for $38. It is available in 20 shades. It has hyaluronic acid, it is light coverage with a radiant finish. And I picked up two shades of the skin tint. I picked up shades 16 and 17 because online, when I was looking at the shades, I felt like 16, 17, and 18, I could have went with. First, I ordered 16, and then I was like, no, you know what? I should have went with 17, so I ended up ordering 17. also picked up the new um, blotting lotion, which is their mattifying primer. This minimizes pores. It's a matte finish. It has salicylic acid, and it is a detoxifying primer, and this retails for $34. I also picked up their new dewy mist. This is supposed to be like a dewy setting spray and this retails I believe for $36 or $38. We'll start with the uh, blotting lotion which is a primer. Looks just like a, hopefully you guys can see, a moisturizer. And this does smell like a perfume. This is very um, <laughs> scented. This night when I got these in the mail I did a swatch of both shades because I was only going to use one for the video, but I really feel like either shade I could go with. I feel like either one would work. 16 is described as, I believe, a deep tan and it has a neutral undertone. I believe this is just a deep shade. I can't remember if it's deep dark or medium deep. I don't remember, but I know both have a neutral undertone and I usually go for a foundation or a skin tint with the neutral tone. So I'm going to swatch both of these and show y'all. Just in case if you were like myself and didn't know what shade to get. And I'm going to swatch 16 first. I'm going to swatch it on my chest. This is what 16 looks like swatched on my chest. So now I'm going to swatch 17. And that's what 17 looks like. I do feel like 17 looks a little more warmer and 16 looks a little more golden to me. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. I still feel like either shade I could possibly go with. Even though I'm leaning more towards shade 17. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to put 16 on the left side of my face and 17 on the right side and really see which one looks better. See how it looks when it dry down and again help somebody out if they was unsure what shade to get so I'm gonna start with shade 16 on the left side on my face so shade 16 is on the left side of my face so I'm gonna go in with shade 17 shade 16 to me is swatched more golden but on my face it definitely looks olive Hopefully that's coming across on camera. Yeah, it looks very olive. I don't like it. <laughs> my face 17 is definitely a better match. I felt like it blended perfectly with my skin. Overall, um, I feel like this is very light. This does have good coverage. I would say this is more like medium coverage versus light covered it's super lightweight um this does not have a scent now the primer is strong like it smells like a floral perfume or something so i'm gonna finish up my face and then i'll be right back okay so time for the setting spray now i'm very nervous about this i have oily skin y'all know that already and this is a dewy mist and usually i stay away from products that claim to be dewy but i am a big fan of ysl beauty products so i just wanted to try this out but most likely i know i am not going to like it but let's see how it sprays out okay it has a nice little mist to it <laughs> all right now let's spray it and see okay and this does not have a scent which is a good thing so if you don't like scented products, you would like this. This is what my face is looking like with all four products on. So far, I do like how my face looks. Um, actually liking it a lot so far. I really do like the primer 
as far as like um, making my pores look non-visible but this reminds me a lot of the YSL primer that I use all the time I'm pretty sure y'all know exactly which one I'm talking about only thing with this this is very fragrant it smells like a floral perfume so you probably would not like that and I do love the fact that this does have salicylic acid salicylic acid is great um, for combating oily acne prone skin so that is a plus I just don't like that it is so um, heavily scented but this reminds me a lot of one of my favorite primers that I use all the time. I'll show y'all later when I come back um, from doing my eight hour wear test. As far as the skin tint, J16, when it first went on, I did not like it at all. It looked a little too olivey, almost kind of ashy. I felt like it was looking on me. Shade 17, I feel like is a perfect match, but once I put concealer and blended everything out, it really looks like I have one shade of a foundation on. Like, so this is more medium coverage then light this is a skin tint that kind of feels almost like a foundation this is also i feel as of right now very similar to the ysl something glow skin tint that's one of my favorites i use that all the time i will show y'all that later when i come back i feel like it is similar even though this is supposed to be super skin like it looks like skin to me but not really this is kind of giving me foundation vibes this doesn't look super skin like hopefully y'all get what i'm saying this is not giving me something like your skin but better. This is giving me medium coverage foundation. That's how I feel it looks in person. Hopefully y'all get what I'm saying and it's coming across on camera. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it in a few hours because again this is supposed to be very radiant. It has hyaluronic acid and all these things to put moisture, hydration and all that back in your face and I'm oily. I feel like I don't want any product to put emphasis on making me look dewy, but we'll see. Dewy, radiant, whatever. Um the setting spray, we'll see. Like we'll see. I really have to wear this all. See, all right, I feel like I'm talking too much. I, I'm going to save all that for when I come back cuz I feel like I just been talking way after having the skin tint on for exactly eight hours and this is what my face looks like as you see i have started to get oily in my t-zone area but that's to be expected i have oily skin i do feel like this held up pretty nicely for eight hours and plus it is extremely hot today it's like 90 something maybe like 98 99 degrees here in jersey like it is really hot outside so i feel like it held up nicely now today I do feel like this has faded on me in certain spots and I did not wear a mask at all today. Um, around like my chin and areas where I have dark marks that you can definitely see them on my face. They're not even like peeking through. You can just see it um, on my face. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. Also within two hours of wearing this I looked very shiny in my T-zone area. Like I was looking very dewy. And I instantly knew that it was this setting spray because I like saturated my face with this and I don't even know why I did that knowing that this is a dewy setting spray. So what I did was I blotted my face and I went over top of it with a mattifying setting spray because the way my face was looking I knew I was not walking around like that looking that dewy. So if you're someone with oily skin who don't want to look dewy at all. You would not like this setting spray. Don't even waste your time. Don't pick it up. Now, if you're someone who want to look dewy, you will definitely get dewiness with this. But if you don't like to be shiny, don't. No. This. No, no, no. This is not even radiant. This is straight up. Like, I was. Um, my face was almost looking wet to me. I don't like that type of look. So, this I would pass on. Now, going into this review, I was really um, excited about the skin tint just because I wear the YSL Touche Eclat All in One Glow skin tint. I wear that a few times throughout the week. I mainly wear it to work, which is this one, but this has a lot of coverage on this. This is almost like medium to full coverage. I really like the skin tint. This is like one of my favorites. So, I was expecting maybe this to be like a reformulated or repackaged version of this and it's not like they're totally two different things which is okay because I do like now, my skin is not looking the best I do have a lot of discolorations in certain spots so this would not be something that I will reach for right now maybe once my skin start to look a little better this would be something I will reach for but as of right now no because I do feel like when earlier when I was watching back some of the footage I still could see some of the dark marks on my face in certain areas or like when I turned my head certain ways I still could see it so 
if you're looking for something to cover up dark marks or any discoloration on your face I don't think I would recommend this but if you have perfect skin you might like this or this will be good for those no makeup makeup kind of it's okay it's not something that like I said I don't think I will reach for right now my skin start to look a little better I feel like maybe I might like this a lot more than I do right Coverage now on this is medium to like I do like the primer a lot and the reason why I do like the primer is because this is definitely a repackaged version of the YSL mattifying primer this is literally the same thing so if you already have this and you have a lot of product left I don't feel like you need to rush out right away to pick this up but if you are looking for a good primer that keeps your face matte and blurs pores I will recommend this y'all already know how I feel about the um, YSL mattifying primer and these pretty much are the same exact thing just new packaging on a scale of 1 to 10 I will rate this skin tint and 8 um, I'm not in love with it as of right now. I do like it. I like it a lot. I lean more towards like than dislike. It's an okay skin tint. I'm just, I'm not in love with it at the moment because I feel like I have better tinted moisturizers than this. Y'all, so that is it. Those are my thoughts on the new YSL Bare Look Skin Tint Primer and Dewy Mist. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later.